I mentioned there were a couple of rules here as far as the actual placements concerned. You need to make sure you do this with the correct view orientation. And that is because the custom line style, at least typically by default, is normal to the view. And so that means it's going to think that it's vertical axis on the cell that we created for the slip form barrier. It's going to think that it's Z axis is relative to the Z of the view window. And so if you're not rotated to a top display, that can kind of be a problem out there. So you need to think about that as such. Okay, so let's take a look at now coming in here and placing one of these. So we're going to go back to that file that we worked in just a little bit ago, that roadway design. And as we do so, we're done with the line style editor. And hopefully what we should see at this point right now is that if we return back to the home tab and take a look at our line style list here in attributes, we now should be able to find that one here in the listing. And so let's just go ahead and scroll down a little bit and see if we can't find that nice slip form barrier that we just generated. And so here, folks, you can see it in the listing. I'm going to go ahead and pick that to make it my active line style. And then from there, it's literally a matter of just simply coming out here and placing it. Now, one of the ways that the vertical applications like Open Roads can do this is they can represent a piece of geometry with that automatically. And so I want to show you kind of a representation of that using this red line that we have in here. This red line segment was generated. If you can see the one I'm trying to hover over in here, at least in the median, that red line segment was created as a feature through Open Roads Designer. And so all I'm going to do is simply this. I'm zooming way in just so I can easily see it. I'm in a top display intentionally so. This is important. I'm going to select that line and change the line styles definition from just a plain old style zero over to our nice new slip form barrier. And folks, when I do so, that definition then is immediately applied to that line segment that we just saw. And now in the various view windows, you can see that we've got our, our slip form barrier in here as such. And so again, this can be created and placed very easily through a variety of different placement commands through the applications that you're working with. And so it can you know, essentially be about that simple to come in here and create something like this using some very basic 3D geometry in MicroStation. Now, the geometry can, of course, be much more complex than what I showed to you here, but it doesn't always have to be. So you do what you need to. By us using those short little sections repeated over and over, this gives us a nice smooth appearance even when we come in and place it on a curve, unless the curve has got a really small radius. So it works out pretty nice for us, I think, here, as you can well see. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.